Bupropion is a very common antidepressant that you're going to see very often in your career. Its trade name is Wellbutrin, and the indication for this is depression, smoking cessation, and to treat ADHD in adults. The way that it works is not very well understood, but we know that it does increase dopaminergic and noradrenergic transmission via the reuptake of dopamine and adrenaline. Our neurotransmitters have little tiny clefts between them, little tiny spaces in between them. Between one and another, there's a little space, and our neurotransmitters are going to travel between that space. And so what these reuptake medications do is they actually take that dopamine, that adrenaline, and they bring it back in and make more available, okay? And so that's going to increase the effects of this dopamine and this adrenaline, which is going to help with the depression. And by, by, by this action as well, it can help with smoking cessation and the treatment of ADHD. Therapeutic class is antidepressant and smoking deterrent. Pharmacologic class is amino ketone. Nursing considerations to keep in mind with these patients is that they can actually lead to seizures and suicidal thoughts. And that's really a, a, an unfortunate side effect for a lot of these antidepressants is that they can actually cause suicidal thoughts. So while they may help the patient feel better every now and then, they can actually also lead to suicidal ideation. We should never administer these with a patient who's taking a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, or MAOI, and there needs to be really a 14-day space between ending an MAOI and starting another antidepressant. We need to use caution with renal and liver, liver impairment, and we need to always be assessing mental status and depression in these patients. As they're taking the medication, we really want to assess how are they feeling, are they doing better, is it helping, or, or, or do we need to uh, alter our antidepressant therapy or change it in some way. You should always instruct these patients to avoid alcohol while taking bupropion because what al what taking alcohol with bupropion can do is actually, actually lead to seizure risk, hallucinations, anxiety, and panic attacks. So combining alcohol with bupropion is very dangerous and you should really treat, tell your patients not to do that. That's bupropion or Wellbutrin. Again, it's an antidepressant pharmacologic class amino ketone. This has been another episode of the Med Master Podcast brought to you by medmastercourse.com and nrsng.com. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor, and your biggest fan. If you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all, head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST to save 15% on lifetime membership to MedMaster Course. The MedMaster Course is packed full of 30 plus hours of HD video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads. Demolish nursing pharmacology, never guess a med again. Go to MedMasterCourse.com, coupon code PODCAST. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing. Happy nursing.